We'll go further into the field of numismatics and examine the different factors that affect the 1971 silver dollar's worth. We'll cover everything, from comprehending the many coin kinds struck in that year to locating uncommon mint faults that are greatly prized by collectors. We'll also look at how the dollar coin's condition is a major factor in deciding its value in the collector's market. So without further ado, let's dive right in and begin this fascinating exploration of the 1971 silver dollar. The 1971 silver dollar's features. Frank Gasparro, the chief engraver of the mint in 1971, created the portrait and reverse of the $1 bill. The face of Dwight D. Eisenhower, on the obverse side, was created by Gasparro based on a sketch he produced in 1945 during a triumph parade commemorating the end of World War II. The phrase liberty is portrayed above Eisenhower's portrait, facing left and extending along the upper edge of the coin. Eisenhower is shown in profile. In God We Trust, Eisenhower's motto is on the left of the coin, while the year, 1,971 inches, curls around the bottom border. The San Francisco Mint, identified by the S Mint mark just below Eisenhower's neck amputation, produced all of the 1971 silver dollars. Gasparro took his cue from a mission patch made to honor the Apollo 11 moon landing for the reverse side of the Eisenhower dollar. Although astronaut Michael Collins is frequently given credit for the patch, Collins, James Cooper, and others worked together to create it. In the design, part of Earth can be seen in the backdrop as an eagle is depicted arriving on the moon and holding an olive branch in its talons. The nation name flows around the coin's upper edge with stars encircling the top three quarters of the design. Inscribed between the stars and the eagle is the Latin motto E Pluribus Unum. The reverse side of the Eisenhower dollar is completed with the denomination one dollar, curving parallel to the lower border of the coin beneath the eagle. The 1971 silver dollar weighs 22.7 grams and has a diameter of 38.5 millimeters. Its reeded edge, which was first added in the 18th century to stop precious metal from being clipped from coin edges, is defined by parallel grooves that run at right angles to the coin face. Despite being called a silver dollar, the coin actually has 20% copper on top of silver. The coin's core is mainly made up of 21% silver and 79% copper. 1971. Silver Dollar Valuation Guide. 1971. S. Silver Dollar. 1971. San Francisco minted dollars have inherent worth tied to the price of silver since they are made of genuine silver. But, depending on their quality and condition, their value may go beyond only the metal they contain. Regular strike silver dollars from 1971 usually sell for $1.10 to $1.12 in circulated condition. Coins with flaws, though, might be more valuable. The lowest graded coins, such one or two, are valued at a premium. For example, a 1971 S silver dollar graded 2 by PCGs is worth $1.110. Because the Mint issues a large number of these coins for collectors, their relative abundance may be seen in their uncirculated condition, where values start at about $1.13 for a piece graded MS-60. At MS-65, values increase to $1.32, and they continue in double digits until MS-66. An MS-66 plus coin is worth about $1.140, whilst an MS-67 coin is worth about $1.285. After that, values rise sharply, with MS-67 Plus at $3,150. There are only seven coins with the grade of MS-68, which is worth $6,500 according to PCGs, and one better sample, known as MS-69, whose value is unknown because it has never been sold. 1971 S-Proof Silver Dollar Compared to regular silver dollars, proof silver dollars are less rare because San Francisco produced over four million of them in 1971. But because they are proofs, it is simpler to find them in higher degrees. Targeting coin enthusiasts, proof coins were produced to exacting specifications using precisely polished planches and specifically prepared dyes. As a result, many collectors carefully preserve their proof coins. As a result, there are still a lot of high-quality coins on the market today, which keeps values in check. For example, the value of a 1971 proof silver dollar graded PR60 is less than $1.10. Values are quite low even at the highest grades. With well over 100 coins receiving the grade of PR69, the PCGs has rated the best examples. 
As of this now, the PCGS is only worth $1.22 each. 1971. S proof. Silver dollar, type 1, reverse. The 1971 proof dollar has two different variations on its reverse, referred to as type 1 and type 2. The type 1 coin has a design that is less relief than the type 2, with the eagle's breast feathers being more detailed and the Caribbean islands on Earth's surface being well defined. Because type 2 coins are more prevalent, coin descriptions frequently do not specifically identify them. Coins featuring the type 1 reverse, on the other hand, are much rarer. So date, the PCGS, has only graded three. One of these is a cameo that has been rated PR67, meaning it is a proof coin with a pleasing contrast between frosted design features and glossy fields. There are also known to be a few deep cameos with remarkable contrast, such as four coins graded PR68 that the PCGS values at $35,000. But the best sample that is currently known is graded PR69 and is worth an astounding $60,000 according to the PGGS. Uncommon, 1971 silver dollar mistake list, 1971, S, proof silver dollar, obverse double struck. One noteworthy inaccuracy on a 1971 silver dollar was the obverse die striking the planche twice, producing a doubled image. Due to this mistake, Eisenhower's head outline and the word we from the slogan, In God We Trust, appeared at the base of his neck. The coin, which Annex classified PR63, sold for more than $4,000 at auction, despite its normal value of about $1.12 without the flaw. 1971 S silver dollar peg leg. A variation of the 1971 San Francisco silver dollars known as peg legs can be identified by a unique characteristic on the obverse of the coin, which appears as the letter R in Liberty. The fault stemming from excessive die polishing removes the serif at the bottom of the R, leaving it a square bottom that looks like a peg leg. Collectors seek out this inaccuracy, even if it may require magnification to detect. With prices ranging from $1.10 to $1.40 for circulation coins and up to $6,750 for the finest known sample graded MS-68, the PCGS classifies it as a distinct variety, FS-401. 1971. S silver dollar, repunched mint mark. The mint markings on a portion of the 1971 silver dollars made in San Francisco were punched again. There is another S if you look closely at the one that appears above the date. For this you will undoubtedly need a loop or microscope. A coin with this flaw that the PCGS graded MS-67 brought more over $8,000 at auction. 1971 S silver dollar double die. A double image on coins may result from double die faults that happen during die production. Such faults exist on both sides of 1971 silver dollars, with better coin conditions usually fetching a higher price. For example, a deep cameo proof coin graded PR67 by the PCGS that had a double die error on the obverse sold for almost $1,400 at auction. In conclusion, 1971 silver dollars are much more than just coins. They are artifacts that bear witness to the painstaking craftsmanship of coinage as well as to history. Every coin has a tale to tell, from the minute features to the distinctive mistakes. 1971 silver dollars present an intriguing chance to dig into the past. Whether you're searching for something for your collection or just want to learn more about the interesting field of numismatics, I sincerely hope that you have found this adventure to be as fascinating as I have. Until the next adventure with numbers.